Hello everyone, I'm Isabel G2. Let's do uh, another conversation video, I guess. So, uh, this one's gonna be talking about uh, DC movies. <laughs> um, God, uh, uh, here's the thing. It's like, <laughs> I kind of wanted to explore and study like DC movies beforehand. So I had a better understanding of this. Um, fortunately though, this video is being recorded currently, right now I'm catching up on <laughs> p fucking Pokemon. <laughs> Let's talk about that later, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but um, so my DC knowledge isn't that great, um, for the current DC, not the old DC. Um, because I've watched like almost all the old DC movies and stuff like that and shows like that. See, here's the thing about DC movies, and like, specifically live action movies, it's, it's just... Uh, it's, uh, like, I don't, I don't want to say it's bottom of the barrel content, because honestly some of them are not, but... Because as if I haven't watched all of them or dedicate myself to actually watching a lot of them, mainly because they're just... Like, they're, they're, not, they're not as spectacular as some people really make them out to be. And a lot of the times it's just... Ugh, God. Just... Ugh, I, 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 it's really weird. It's really weird to say that aspect, like, unless you like the specific style of the way they make their films. It, it's not really much for another person to say that. Uh, okay, so, here's the thing. Things... Let me explain this in a better way. I like the Dark Knight films. I actually like Christopher Nolan's version of The Dark Knight. He was actually kind of good films like anyone else would, you know, like them. The, the Dark Knight series were actually pretty good. And I liked the films and they were pretty nice. Uh, even The Return of Superman, I think it's called. <laughs> or Superman Returns, I think that's called. Um, I watched that one and yes, it's a bit... <laughs> but there were some aspects of it that I did enjoy as a kid. Maybe, maybe more because I was watching as a kid more than an adult. But I don't know. But I even go back. To, I watched it later. Yes, there were parts where I was bored out of my mind, but still other parts where I still enjoyed a bit of the movie. Now, to explain it, while watching things like the Justice League. Uh, okay, so here's the thing, you would have to describe which part of the Justice League you're particularly watching sometimes in there, and here's the thing, I don't believe that if a version of a movie was particularly supposed to come out, then I believe that the movie version itself should stand alone to be counted as the ver like final version of a movie that should be put out there. Yes, I understand there's complications due to like pub publishers, directors, mainly, well, I can't say publishers, I mean company, big companies, and like the, the producers, there you go, producers, that's what I'm worried I mean, because I'm t producers, directors, and all that, you know, they have complications with the d directors and stuff like that, and, and everything just falls apart, so complications happen, things separate, but, uh, Here's the thing, everyone doesn't, like, the general sense is that a lot of people don't like their Joss Whedon film of Justice League. I'm not talking about Joss Whedon himself, don't get that twisted, I don't really care for the man, the director man himself, like, talking about the movie in general. Okay, so don't bring that up. Alright? <laughs> talking about the movie itself. And, uh, I, I really didn't like it that well it's it's like it was there and I, I watched it for a while I used to think I didn't even like the Man of Steel yeah I didn't <laughs> like, like I watched that one too and it's like yeah I'm Superman I guess but eh it's like I don't really get I used to think I watched something like Aquaman when Aquaman came out uh, and I mean, it, it happened. I'm not gonna lie, there were some parts where I was bored. 
but there were other parts where I thought he was funny, I guess. Here, here's the thing, here's the thing. See, with DC movies, it's kind of hard to take them seriously. Even Marvel movies, like I said before, if you listen to my April, it's kind of hard to take them seriously. So, I mainly put them into the subject, of course, of superhero movies, so... Unfortunately, DC has fallen into that whole pit of that. But even for describing as superhero movies, they are like... It's, it's very hard to put that in there because some of the, the, move, the DC movies want to not get partnered in, into that genre because they try to take things a little more seriously. But the thing is, is that you, you, you can't have both sides of a coin, basically. You have to do one lane and just go that way. You can't be a jack of all trades, otherwise you're just a master of none. In a way. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of just a weird aspect, and I understand DC has a big amount of fans. I love the characters in there, and I do too. I love Batman. I love Superman, The Flash, Wonder Woman. You know, different aspects of their characters and different stories are fantastic, and I love hearing about them in different character aspects and stories. Don't get me wrong. I love these characters as much as the next person. However, with the movies. Like I said before, I haven't watched all of the modern ones. I still have to watch the new Batman film with Robert Pattinson's take on it. And I, I, I have nothing, no opinion on that yet. So uh, I want to go watch that for sure. And when I do get the time to watch that, then I will. And I'll have more an opinion on that and see how I feel about at least Batman and the genre now. However, when it comes to like things like Batman versus Superman or the Justice League... Ben Affleck's take is, is okay. It's not great. It's not bad, necessarily. It's about as average as you can get with it, and that's not necessarily bad. It's more like, I wish there was more to it, because it seems like they're going for a more serious take on him, and they're enforcing it really roughly, to the point where it's almost nauseatingly uninteresting it's it's weird to really explain it that way but it's, if if you understand if you've seen other takes on batman then you would understand what i mean by that like comparing it to other takes on batman it's really weird uh, but um to really describe my thing with dc see like like i said before i like the dc old films when it comes to dc now just mm. the last DC movie I watched was Black Adam and I had I, I had to turn my brain off I had to turn my brain off to enjoy the movie because if I didn't then I would have been stressing out about everything and that, that was clutch me and I just need to turn off in my brain and just Enjoy stupid jokes for stupid jokes because that's all it was, and that's as much as I took from that movie. That there were stupid jokes, and it happened. The Rock was in it. Yay! <laughs> Look, Henry Cavill's back as Superman. Never mind. No, he isn't. Yep. All right. I don't, don't, I don't know if if I feel the same way. The only one I kind of liked, in which I still have to turn my brain off technically, but at least I was able to laugh more, was in Shazam. Like, Shazam's movie at least made me actually laugh for some of its comedy style, than just have to just sit there and watch, if that makes sense. The next Shazam sequel is going to come out. I'm, I do want to go watch it. It's not like I'm not interested to watch it. I do want to go watch it. And I'm interested to see where DC tries to take their universe and stuff. But with everything that's going on with not just actors, but the movie genre in general with them, it's kind of rough to see where DC really is going to take their whole thing. Live action shows are one thing, and they're doing 
better with that. They're definitely doing greater with that, and more DC Life shows should be more appreciated, especially with the animation. The animated content on DC is a leagues still above and better beyond whatever they're doing with live action movies. So, at least the ones I've seen so far. Like I said before, I started watching things like the Batman and stuff like that. Um, and I guarantee you I will watch that, and hell, if that <laughs> impresses me a fuck ton, then I'll definitely make another fun video to this, saying that, you know what, this was another step in the right direction. But otherwise, that's that's my relationship with DC. <coughs> anyway, at least with these live action movies and stuff like that. Well, that's it. I'm Miss Pose You Too, and I'm signing off.